when, when I see a person, right, airmen, civilian, whoever, I picture us like, like a steam kettle, like on a, a cooking pot, right? And it's building up all this pressure. And then what happens a lot of time, if that steam valve, like if that pressure is not released, it's going to explode. Majority of suicides within the Air Force, within the United States military, is enlisted under 30 years old. I was ripped away from home. I endured hardships overseas. And now my trauma does not end. I miss my mom, my dad, my brothers, my sisters, my spouse who's deployed. My world is crashing. Well, slowly but surely, their world is caving in on them. That pressure pot is building and building and building. But a lot of these guys and girls here, they are, they're warriors. They've put on this suit of armor and no one's getting in except for the comfort dog. A dog will love you unconditionally. A dog will sit next to you regardless if you're right or you're wrong, you're hurting, you're sad. It's not just the dog, right? The dog is here doing what it's doing. But it's the people that are bringing that dog here. They're making that, that connection. We're all meeting at the crossroad at the same time for the same mission. And, you know, we'll know one another by our works, by our deeds, right? And their deeds and their works, right, not only talk about their faith, but also the community they choose to serve or feel called to serve. And that's in the military.